So today at the Computer History Museum we looked uh, at a functioning O29 key punch and also at the, the schematics uh, together with my friends. And we found a few things that I should test. So first, um, it feeds, it registers, and then that relay here controls the space so it should uh, advance the card wire one space so let's try it I'll push it manually and it doesn't it advances the card continually so something good and the card goes through so there's no obstruction and uh, something bad it doesn't control the space and should advance by one space and try it, in, try it again, go to the next station, that's good, register and off it goes. Let's feed one manually. Then when I register, the relay at the back we identify as relay 24 should be set if it's registered. And conveniently relay 24 is at the end here. And Aha! It wasn't set. I had to set it manually. So that would be the first thing to check, is what is Relay24 connected to, and uh, why is it not receiving the coil signal. So something else that's not right, and but probably not the cause of my problem, why I was inspecting the machine, I noticed that main wheel had slipped out of alignment, it's way too far in front, it was actually pushing on the cover. So I need to push it back. That's going to be easy. Okay, it's back to smack in the middle, actually the screws were completely loose on that pulley. Uh, and as expected, it didn't solve my problem, but noise is a ton better. So now it sounds about right. And still one punch. Alright, so I'm going to look at other places. So I was uh, tracing my uh, card lever relay which goes to the card lever switch so they call the same thing with the same different thing with the same name and I traced it all the way to here being all good and now it goes up to a cam a CF3. So I think this is one of this cam over here. Which one I don't know if it's the third one here or the third one here. But while I was counting, look what I found. This cam that's loose here. So that's no good. So I'll just uh, tighten that one back up and then check continuity with cam 3. That definitely would ruin a good cycle. Well, no, this cam is tightened, but then I couldn't find any continuity here on this bank of cam, so there is another bank of cam here, and this one has continuity, so one, two, three, this must be CF3, actually I'll, I'll write CF1, CF2, CF3, CF4, so I know for next time. So they are numbered. CF1 to CF4 and of course CF9, nah, no, card feeder, right, so that makes sense, those are the, the cams for the card feeder CF. So on the other end should be 48 volts, so I'll be darned if that relay doesn't pick. Should work, or it's either that or the cam is not right. And so I'm now looking at the cam, and sure enough there is 48 or 50 volts on it. So either the cam contact is bad or something escapes me. So yeah, it closed fine. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, so I should have picked my relay. And it has not. Okay, a mystery here. 
my relay refuses to move even when that contact closes so I'm going to close it for good I'll put one at 48 and I'll contact the other end and see if the manual contacting does it one, two, three and it does work okay so my cam is not working my contact up there is bad because if I do it by hand it does work okay. Okay, clean that cam contact. So I have managed to put the cams in a position where cam 3 is closed and I'm measuring the resistance across it. And it's 2 kilo ohms, so that's not good. Uh, right, so one failure isolated.